Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Mitnick. I'm Novaforce Chief Hacking Officer, and today I'm gonna to demonstrate how easy it is for bad actors to steal credentials out of a target's browser. Now, typically when we're doing red teaming or penetration testing, we target administrators. So do the bad guys. So when the bad guys gain a foothold in a target's network and they laterally move and gain access to an administrator's workstation, they also try to steal any credentials that are stored on that workstation in the browser or otherwise. Why? Because usually that's where the privileged credentials are, is the administrators have access to the keys to the kingdom. So let me show you the setup here. What we have here is the victim workstation. And for the purpose of today's demonstration, we're gonna assume this is already compromised. If we look here, we could see that the victim here has stored a bunch of credentials in their Chrome browser. And what our job today is, is to steal those credentials posing as a bad actor. So let's go over here to our command to control. We're using the Cobalt Strike framework. This is a commercial framework that's available for purchase. Companies that do security testing usually use this framework but unfortunately so do bad actors because this framework has been leaked on the internet. So what we can see here is we have a connection back from this workstation here. This is called a beacon, and this is a connection back that we could interact with. You could see here the user is system, so we're in the context of the system account, which is essentially the highest privileged account in Windows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search, assuming that we already don't know, and try to identify the browser that the target's using. We could see here, it really stands out that the victim is using Chrome, but to access the credentials that are stored in Chrome, we have to be in the context of the victim. We can't be in the context of the system account. So what we have to do is inject another beacon in the Explorer process. So we're gonna do that really quickly. We're gonna inject uh, we're going to give it the PID, which is 3604, which stands for the process ID. We're going to give it the architecture, and we're going to go ahead and launch it. And voila, we have a connection back, and we can see it's in the Explorer process, and now we're in the context of the Kevin account. So what we're going to do now is we're going to interact with that beacon, and we're going to adjust the sleep to zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run this binary called sharp Chrome, but only in memory. We're not going to store that binary or transfer that binary onto disk on the victim workstation here because of a chance that an endpoint detection response product could detect it. And we wanna be invisible to the target. So let's go ahead and execute the binary in memory. And as you can see over here, we're able to dump all the credentials that the victim stored in their Chrome browser. So that's why it's so risky for not only administrators, well, especially administrators, but for anyone to store credentials in any browser, whether it's Edge, Firefox, Chrome, and others, because it's so easy to extract those credentials. So we have to look for other alternatives such as passwordless systems, or more importantly, password managers that are better at protecting those credentials. So everyone, I hope this demonstration has been informative. So please stay safe out there. Thank you.